So I'm just talking well, about the ability to yeah. speak about something that could be polarizing, which you have started doing since COVID. Yes, and and I think part of the reason is because someone like yourself, you do have to worry. At the end of the day, you do have to worry. You, you do have to worry about what you say. Right. Howie Mandel, in my opinion, cannot start going on certain talk shows and going, I believe X, Y, Z, and I believe in that because someone's going to go, he's got to go. It's not, it doesn't fall in our alignment. I haven't had that in years, so I have nothing. I can't be canceled. The only people that can cancel me is my audience. And so I don't fear it. And, but do you not um, think do you not think you're you're saying that but that's uh, that's up for discussion the yeah. audience is possibly the most important thing that we have yes. do you not think that ha a portion of your audience canceled oh. you oh without doubt 100 percent. so does without that, a doubt and but at, the, but at the same time an entire different group came along so the ones that said Hey man, I really respect what you're doing. Stayed. The ones that did it, oh, uh, you know, you know, they say what they say. You're, I, you know, they say crazy comments. Um, you know, your dead father would be ashamed. You know, it, it, they say the craziest things. Um, but then this entire other group that thought the same way said, "Hey man, we got you back." And then what I also noticed was an audience that knew nothing about me showed up and they said, I don't know who the hell you were, but I respected X, Y, and Z. So now I'm going to follow you because I really like the things you've been saying and what you've been putting out there. Um, and I also, to be dead honest with you, when COVID first hit, I would make these videos and they were more spiritual and, and, and godly stuff. I, I was petrified of putting that out there. I thought it was going to be extremely vulnerable. And, and then I did feel I was going to lose a lot of people like, Oh, is he a freak now? And maybe, you know, I am a freak, but what I got, which to me is, is 10 times better for me is not just, Oh my God, you're funny. It was you saved my life during that time. You're the only thing that kept me going during that time. I watch your videos and I, I can't tell you how much that made to me. And when I tell you how many people continually come up to me, that, that, that made me realize, Hey, listen, I don't want to be the ma I don't want to be the guy like, Hey, I'm the guy that, um, cause I hate doing that with anything. And I had to fight that the last couple of years of being, Put over here. Oh, you're the this guy, or you're the that guy, or you're the. I'm like, no, I'm not that guy. Um, that became more of um, my calling, Howie. And to be honest with you, for years and years and years, I had a deeper spiritual thing that I wanted to put out there, like you know, stories that have happened in my life, and even with my daughter, with the name of my daughter, like all these, all these things where people will go, you know, I'm not religious, but I can relate to that story you told. And that's a, that's a very powerful story you told. And I noticed, and I was always afraid to put that out there because people are, are so intentional on labeling and putting you in certain places. So when I, I was well aware that I was going to lose people, but at the same time, I felt so strongly about it that I wasn't worried about it as long as I believed in my heart of hearts, it was truth, my truth. And what I saw was truth and my intention was coming from a, from a good place rather than like, yeah, you make a bit more of a, Hey man, this is how I really feel. And this is coming from a loving place. And if you get it, is this because, is this, be okay. 